Welcome to Lawless Creators. We hope that all of you will be fine and doing well. Today, we have something interesting and fascinating for you. In the world of electronics, amplifiers play a vital role in boosting the strength of signals. An amplifier takes a weak input signal and magnifies it to a more powerful output signal, making it an essential component in various applications, from audio systems to communication devices. Today, we're delving into one specific type of amplifier, the common emitter amplifier. Think of it as the workhorse of amplifiers. The common emitter amplifier, or CE amplifier for short, is a configuration based on the bipolar junction transistor, or BJT. It's a cornerstone in electronics, offering high voltage gain and serving as the heart of many audio amplification circuits. So, today's journey is all about unraveling the secrets of the common emitter amplifier. From its core principles to practical demonstrations, get ready to witness the magic of signal amplification unfold. The following is a review of what this video comprises of. Overview of common emitter amplifier. First up, we will set the stage with an exploration of the common emitter amplifier. We will be discovering how this amplifier configuration takes center stage in the world of electronics. Component roles. Here, we will dive deeper into the heart of the CE amplifier. We will learn how each component's unique role contributes to the amplification symphony. Circuit diagram design in produce. With knowledge in hand, we will transform concepts into visuals. Witness the creation of the CE amplifier circuit diagram using the power of Proteus by watching the video till the end. Practical demonstration. We will analyze the I.O. waveforms before our eyes and conclude with our exploration. Here are some of the key aspects that highlight the core elements of common emitter CE amplifiers. Amplification principle, CE amplifiers are designed to amplify weak input signals, making them stronger at the output. This process involves using a transistor in the common emitter configuration to control current flow and achieve voltage gain. Biasing and operating point. Biasing is crucial to establish the transistor's operating point, ensuring it operates in the active region for linear amplification. Proper biasing maintains stability and prevents distortion. Voltage gain. CE amplifiers provide voltage amplification, which is the ratio of the change in output voltage to the change in input voltage. This gain is determined by the transistor's characteristics and the surrounding circuit components. Coupling and capacitors. Coupling capacitors are used to separate AC and DC components in the amplifier circuit. AC coupling prevents unwanted DC bias from interfering with signal amplification, ensuring proper operation. Frequency response. CE amplifiers have a frequency response that defines the range of frequencies they can effectively amplify. Capacitive and inductive elements in the circuit affect the lower and upper frequency limits of the amplifier's operation. These five key aspects encapsulate the fundamental principles and characteristics of common emitter amplifiers, making them a cornerstone of electronics and amplifier design. Let's move to the circuit diagram and input versus output plot explanation of the CE amplifier configuration. A common emitter CE, amplifier consists of several components that serve specific purposes in the circuit. Each component plays a crucial role in achieving signal amplification. Here are the different portions of a CE amplifier and their functionality. Input stage. Base emitter junction. The input signal is applied to the base emitter junction of the transistor. This junction is forward biased, allowing the input AC signal to modulate the base current. Biasing resistors, R1 and R2 these resistors form a voltage divider network, providing the appropriate biasing voltage to the base emitter junction. They stabilize the operating point and ensure the transistor remains in the active region. Amplification stage. Transistor, NPN BJT the heart of the amplifier, the NPN transistor amplifies the input signal by controlling the collector current based on the base current modulation. Emitter stage. Emitter resistor, replaced in the emitter leg, the emitter resistor stabilizes the operating point and provides negative feedback. It enhances thermal stability and reduces distortion, contributing to better linearity. Output stage. 
Collector resistor, RC The collector resistor acts as a load for the transistor. The amplified output signal appears across this resistor. Coupling capacitors, C1 and C2. C1, input coupling it blocks the DC bias from the input signal, allowing only the AC signal to pass into the amplifier. This prevents any DC offset from interfering with the amplifier's operation. C2, output coupling similar to C1, C2 blocks the DC component from the output, allowing only the amplified AC signal to be passed to the next stage of the circuit. DC biasing network. Biasing resistors, R1 and R2 apart from their role in the voltage divider, R1 and R2 establish the DC biasing point for the transistor, ensuring it operates in its linear region. Power supply. VCC, the power supply voltage provided to the collector and emitter circuits. It ensures that the transistor operates within its specified voltage range. Ground, G and D. Reference point, ground serves as the reference point for the circuit's voltage levels. It is typically connected to the emitter of the transistor and the negative terminal of the power supply. These different portions and components work together to achieve signal amplification in a common emitter amplifier. The input stage handles the incoming signal, the amplification stage boosts the signal, and the output stage presents the amplified signal. Proper biasing and feedback mechanisms contribute to stable and linear amplification. Talking about the input versus output voltage plot also known as VO slash VI plot. In a common emitter, CE, amplifier, the input and output voltage waveforms are not in phase. There is generally a 180 degree phase shift between the input and output signals. When an AC signal is applied to the input of a CE amplifier, the output signal undergoes inversion or a 180 degree phase shift due to the transistor's behavior. This phase shift is a characteristic of the CE amplifier configuration and is a result of the transistor's amplification process. Let's have a look at the key components and their applications in electronics domain. BJT, transistor. At the heart of innovation lies the bipolar junction transistor, a versatile workhorse. With the power of amplification, transistors boost signals to new heights, enabling clear audio in our speakers and efficient communication in our networks. But that's not all, their switching prowess breathes life into digital systems, their signal processing capabilities mold our everyday devices, and their presence even extends to voltage regulation, ensuring stable power for countless electronic wonders. Capacitors Enter the silent heroes, capacitors. With their filtering prowess, they cleanse power supplies, ensuring our devices receive clean and stable energy. Coupling and bypassing become their forte, enabling seamless signal transfer and noise reduction. Capacitors embody energy storage, charging up for those sudden bursts of power needed for camera flashes and other high demand situations. Their role in circuit protection shields components from voltage spikes, like electronic shields guarding against surges. Resistors Resistors step onto the stage as the architects of balance. They intricately bias transistors, dictating their operating points and ensuring consistent performance. Within feedback networks, they sculpt the amplifier's behavior, dictating gain, stability, and fidelity. Their mastery of voltage division shapes reference voltages and scale signals. They set the stage for emitter and collector currents, bringing harmony to amplifier operation and output. Function Generator Behold the artist, the function generator, capable of crafting a symphony of waveforms. Its signal simulation capabilities allow engineers to test circuits under various conditions, fostering innovation and reliability. Calibration becomes its forte, ensuring precision across instruments. With a sweep of frequencies, it unveils the secrets of frequency response in circuits. Waveform synthesis becomes its canvas, painting intricate patterns of signals for experimentation and understanding. As we delve into these components and their applications, keep in mind they're the bedrock of technology, shaping our future. From amplifiers that enrich experiences to function generators crafting signals language, each element has a unique role in the electronic symphony. Don't let theory drain your enthusiasm, we're about to inject a dose of excitement with real-world applications. Let's switch to produce for some action. 
have implemented this circuit on Proteus successfully, let's have a look at what are the oscilloscope waveforms indicating. For this demonstration, we set up a common emitter amplifier circuit. Let's start by understanding the concept of phase difference. Phase difference refers to the time delay between the input and output waveforms. In our circuit, the input waveform is connected to the base of the transistor, and the output is taken from the collector. As we observe the input and output waveforms on an oscilloscope, you'll notice that they are not perfectly in sync. The output waveform exhibits a phase shift, 180 degree out of phase, relative to the input waveform. This phase difference occurs due to the inherent characteristics of the transistor, BJT, and the circuit components. It's important to note that this phase shift can have implications on the overall performance of the amplifier, especially in applications where phase coherence is crucial. Moving on to the voltage differences between the input and output, we find another significant aspect of the common emitter amplifier. The input voltage is usually a weak signal, while the output voltage is substantially larger due to amplification. By comparing the input and output voltages on the oscilloscope, you'll see a clear amplification effect. The voltage amplification is a result of the transistor's ability to control a larger current flowing through the collector emitter path using a smaller base current. This controlled current leads to voltage changes across the collector resistor, causing a substantial output voltage compared to the input voltage. It's this voltage amplification that makes common emitter amplifiers indispensable in various electronic systems. In short, the practical demonstration of input and output waveforms in a common emitter amplifier circuit provides a visual and tangible insight into the concepts of phase difference and voltage amplification. In conclusion, the implemented common emitter amplifier circuit can be summarized in the following key points. Principle of signal enhancement, the common emitter amplifier is a fundamental electronic circuit that employs a bipolar junction transistor, BJT, to amplify weak input signals. It operates by controlling a larger collector current using a smaller base current, resulting in significant voltage amplification at the output. Inverted phase amplification, one distinctive characteristic of the common emitter amplifier is its output phase relationship with the input. The output waveform is inverted compared to the input waveform. This phase inversion is a consequence of the transistor's NPN configuration and the manner in which it amplifies the input signal. Operating point control and circuit stability, proper biasing is crucial for the stable operation of the common emitter amplifier. Biasing establishes the operating point, Q point, of the transistor and ensures that it remains in the active region. By setting the Q point appropriately, we can achieve optimal amplification while avoiding distortion or cutoff. Versatility in applications, the common emitter amplifier finds widespread applications in various domains such as audio systems, radio frequency, RF, circuits, and signal processing. Its versatile nature allows for customization and optimization to suit specific requirements, making it a cornerstone of modern electronics. In essence, the common emitter amplifier serves as a fundamental building block for signal amplification, offering both a deep understanding of transistor behavior and a practical tool for enhancing the strength of signals in a wide range of electronics applications.